Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I am actually doing it this way now because I was trying to figure out, um, I like the audio, but what happens when I do the audio, you know, they cut off. So I'm like, oh man, this is crazy. So I figured out uh, uh, ulterior, <laughs> I think, way to do it. But um, this is kind of, this ain't, this is not kind of, this is very serious. I don't know if you all see my title. You know, one of the things that I don't understand why people play with the prophetic gift. It's nothing to play with. As a matter of fact, um, I told you I have an old Bible, which thank God for. And I never could understand. But I remember when I would look in the old when my Bible, it would always say in every prophetic book from uh, Isaiah to Jeremiah, it says the burden of the Lord. It starts with that. And I never could understand that. And I said, God, what does that mean? I think I understand what it means now. <laughs> Because God shows us things that it hurts and it burdens our spirit. Now, I don't know if you see my title last night. Well, actually, this has been brewing up for about a minute. I see a string of deaths again, you guys. And God does not just deal with me on this level for anything. I just really want you guys to pray. Um, Y'all do know, and I got to say some hard things this morning. A lot of people don't understand how this world goes, you know. We'd have been tricked and bamboozled until we think, okay, we just go to college, we get a career and everything. That's not really real. What's real is that we serve either God or the devil. And I know you guys don't like this subject, but it's the truth. I said it yesterday in my life. If you go look at part two, we all came to earth and actually we had an assignment. The assignment was for God. But that's why he says many are called and few are chosen. Everybody don't choose God. And I know some of y'all think, okay, well, whatever. It's the truth. Everybody don't choose God. And it's camouflaged with careers. It's camouflaged with being a star. Y'all ain't ready for me, but I'm going I'm to I'm preach this thing how God said to say it. And I'm going to reiterate something I said yesterday. One of the stars that I've always loved was Whitney Houston. As a matter of fact, put it this way. My daughter knew because <laughs> when Whitney died, she called me and, she, and it was I thought it was a family member. That's how my daughter's voice was, you know, because she knew I always wanted to meet Whitney because I knew God has showed me since a little girl, since I heard Whitney, that Whitney was supposed to sing gospel. Come on, y'all. Y'all walk with me this morning. Walk with me. That never happened. I mean, she sung a few gospel songs, but you know what I'm saying? She didn't really give her gift to God. I'm saying something. You have to choose who you're going to honor your gift with. Now, y'all can get up there and play crazy and act like y'all understand what I'm saying. This is some real stuff. Because here's what's going to happen. Sooner or later, you're going to have to pay the piper. And the piper could be God or the piper could be the devil. But you're going to have to pay the piper. So, let me get what my dust said the Lord. They're going to start killing some stars again, God says. I need y'all to pray. These are going to be... Yes, I do know a couple of names. I'm not saying it. You know I can't say it. But I will say this. It's just somebody y'all love. Y'all got to pray. Because these people, man, they evil. That's all I can say. And I know people say, well, you know, people are always trying to figure God out. I don't know how you're going to figure God out. Just remember he's God. Ooh, and, and it's like I'm heavy hearted. Because when God showed me these things, you guys don't know how I feel. It's like I go into a whole... I can't even explain what I go into. I want to cry. I want to ask God why. I want to. I don't know. But I do know this. I'm 51 and he ain't never lied to me. And I don't think he's going to start now. And so I guess I'm getting up here to tell you not only to pray, but please make good decisions in life. I know everybody want, and I'm going here, everybody want to be famous. Everybody want to be a star. Count the cost. Count the cost. I'm going to say it again. Count the cost. We are not crazy. Everybody can look at the world. Look at what happens to them. Look how they die. And there's always some weird consonants. Come on, somebody. So it's like, I'm, I guess this is a warning. It's not just a dust said the Lord. It's a warning. You got to count the cost. It's even on some of your jobs, y'all will do things just to get that money. You got to understand, if it's not God, you don't need it. The, the world got everybody thinking that you got to be this rich and famous. You know, he did the same thing to Jesus. He took Jesus on that pinnacle and he said, if you fall down and worship me, 
I'll give you the glory and the kingdoms thereof because they're all in my hand. That's what he said. Read your Bible. Don't you know we're getting that same deal? And I don't know about you. It's just not worth it. Yeah, it looks good from the outside. Notice I said from the outside because you don't know what they go through. The watchers being watched. Y'all get what I'm saying? Big Brother's always watching, but trust me, y'all know what I'm saying. So with that being said, just count the calls. But pray. Pray for these souls because here's the deal. Who knows where their soul will really go? No, we don't have. That's one thing we cannot judge if a person's going to hell or heaven. We don't have that authority. However, our Bible does tell us clearly that if you serve Satan, you know where you're going. If you serve God, you know where you're going. I think people don't think this a game. This is not a game. This is your lives. And some people think like this. Well, I don't care. You know, as long as I got that money and I got that credibility and I could do what I want to do now. Okay, you don't care now. But you will care. You will care when it comes to eternal. What am I saying? Well, your soul going to spend eternity. Oh, you're going to care then. You might not care now. I ain't going to lie. A lot of people don't care now. Truth be told, they're doing what they want to do. Big and bad enough to do. I mean, just doing it up. But that day going to come when you're going to regret. Or you're going to say hallelujah. It's only going to be two things you're going to say. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Count the cost. All right. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord keep you. And may you make good choices. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.